Hey, this is a tutorial on how to make a penny in Maya. So first, let's make a cylinder. Let's click R, make it pretty thin, and let's disable the grid because it's kind of annoying. Let's hold a right click, face, hold down shift, and select all of these top faces so we can apply the head file I got from the internet just by tail and head. And um, I'll give the images I have in the description below. All I did was went into a simple paint here and made the white transparent. And so with that, let's hold on right click, assign new material, let's make it a blend. Let's click these checkers right here, file and image. And um, let's go to wherever you saved your image. I'll go to mine, I'll try and find heads, so bam. We have heads right here, let's click six to make it show up and obviously that's really bad. So um, let me just reselect these faces. And um, it's actually really hard to tell if I got them all. There, I think I did. And click this right here. And let's try and... I'm not very good at UV mapping, but this is kind of a very simple way. Um, let's see if we can get this giant cylinder right here, if you can kind of see it fit the penny. Um, there, I don't know. I would kind of make it a bit more like that, maybe make it a bit bigger there. So now we have our top and just because we selected the top it only appears on the top and we'll fix that later. So there we have that and we can get these bottom faces, hold down shift, select all the bottom faces. And once we do, we'll hold down right click, assign new material, blend. Let's get that file. Here we go. And um, let's get tails wherever I saved it to. Here it is. And let's do our bootleg. Uh, um, we gotta select these first. Bootleg UV mapping is what I like to call it because it is very, very bad, but it works. Alright, so if you know how to do UV mapping yourself a bit better, you should do it your own way. I highly, highly do not recommend. Let's make sure we're not crap. Doing this on the other side is what I was gonna say. And that happened because that got selected. So, let's retry. And make this bigger. It's not doing it to that side this time. Nope. Always make sure if you selected other faces. So, let's try and get this. Um, yeah. Maybe a bit. It's a bit too big. Kind of just doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm. Oh jeez, I'm making this worse. Uh, oh my god, what have I done? There, I'll just keep it like that by holding. Oops, it just control z that. So we have our tails, we have our heads, and we can hold, get those. What I, How I did that was I selected this face and then I hold it on shift and double clicked on that face so it selects all of those around there and none of the tops and we can add a new material let's make it blend and we can go here get that color picker oops and uh, I think it actually no it did not never mind oops let's focus on that last right there uh, go back and get that color picker and get like um, brown there and so that kind of gets better and bam you have your horrible penny at least mine's horrible hopefully yours is better I'll link the uh, images in the description and um, yeah thanks for watching